Hello and welcome to the stream. I made a picture. Can you see it? I made a picture. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I spent, spent way too long trying to do that. I am not good at those sort of things, so I thought I'd give it a crack. I spent a fair chunk of this afternoon making a thing so that I could, you know, warm up into it. One day there'll be a camera there as well so you can see my ugly mug properly but for now that's that's just it so then when people come in afterwards it's easier to find where the actual action start because that'll disappear but i hope you're all well um as you have probably seen uh bally spring won the vote so we're going to be going to bally spring but that does mean tomorrow night we'll see in the new year with um some Ballam Road, which is good because it gives me a time to move some bales. I've got a lot of bales to move on Ballam Road so we can do some different stuff other than baling because we're going to have some bales and all sorts to do here as well. Because we've, uh, I went out, I, cut, I think I cut another two more meadows after the last stream. So uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a little bit of work to be done here. We should be all right. Hey, FS, my man, how you doing, buddy? <coughs> Excuse me. We'll be doing uh, be doing Ballam tomorrow, my friend. Yeah, I've got I've still got those silage bales to clear off, and some hay bales on there as well. So we'll uh, we'll save them for then. Now I have to remember, now I've done this, I have to remember that I need to do that. <laughs> Just a quick flyby, bro. Promise the other half I would spend the night with her. Hope you have a great stream and an even better new year. Much love to you and your family and to you, Schwardo, and to you, my man. Hope you have a great evening. Uh, my partner's got work tomorrow, so I should imagine she'll be going to bed early. So I'm going to do this. Uh, your video's just gone out a little bit later than normal. Uh, I'll catch it afterwards, my man. Mr. Schwardo is new to our Discord server, but I've been active in his for quite a while. Uh, he has a good channel, nice variety channel. He's currently playing through uh, The Witcher 3 Ultimate Edition, the enhanced upgrade. So that's, that's a nice one to watch. So go check him out if you like a little bit of uh, um, action gameplay. Up the great work, thanks, man. I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> uh, and then you saw that I was live, didn't mean to happen. Nah, that's all right, mate. You put your content out when you want to put your content out. Everything's out there for everyone, and we can all see at different stages, different times. It's nice to have good hits when you first go live or when you first put a video out, but. You know, there's so much content out there in there, and I always think, well, I'm pretty bottom rung anyway, so I don't don't worry about that. Uh, thanks for that. That's all right, sort of. I, I weren't quite ready for it, so it come about a bit stumbly, but <laughs> I weren't quite in it my rhythm. But yeah, mate, you have a good evening. Thanks for dropping by, and I'll look forward to more of your stuff, buddy. So anyway, anyway we are down at the farm. Like I said, I came down early, and uh, I started getting some bales sorted out. I think we've got a lot of, or I did say bales, I said we've got grass to do. Now I think, I think I'm going to bale and wrap half of them. I've got two, two uh, meadows here, and I've got two meadows over that way. So I think I'm going to bale and wrap half, and then um, bale and, or oh, Ted, and then have to win row and bale the others. So we've got some grass and some, some silage and some hay. I also need to plant. You too, bro. Enjoy and talk soon. Yeah, mate, you have a good one. This is still in the growing state. This isn't ready to cut. I'm going to dig this up. Now, I haven't used a disc harrow for a long time. And I was told that a disc harrow would not give me stones in a comment before. Is this true? 
And also, will a dil, di, will a dil harrow, will a disc harrow dig this up for me the same as a cultivator and a plow? Because normally I just get a plow and do it. But if a disc harrow will dig this up and not give me stones, I'll go and lease a disc harrow. If anyone knows, I'll uh, I'll much appreciate that. I think what I'll do before then is uh, we'll jump in the deer. And I'll get started on some of that bale and we'll get the Elmer Kale, the Ferrari out, the F550. You love the grass length. Oh, it gets so long, doesn't it? It looks awesome. It looks absolutely awesome. Is the sound all right with me uh, fiddling with everything? Is the sound okay for everyone? Hopefully it is. bit whistly, that's just me, that is. <laughs> that's, that's my speech today. Bit bit cotton mouth, bit dry. But you can hear me, I hope. I've moved the mic away a little bit, hopefully it's not so bad. Keep the loader on the front. I've got to remember how I get into all these meadows again now. It's been a while. Is this map coming to console? I really don't know. I'm sure they would like it to. Uh, there's a lot of things that would have to change for it to come to console. Um, one, you know, the big one being the number of animal sheds that are built into the map. That's that's quite a big thing. Um, then secondly, we've got, um, I've just noticed uh, custom um, contractors, which is all right, but they are also um, YouTubers and stuff, and some of the pictures are of um, some of the Airagri YouTube guys, and you're not allowed to do that, I don't think. I know uh, no, Cavalier Roy got his map rejected after an update when he put some of his um, channel members and discord members and stuff in the in the map and then had to remove them for it to get past so I don't know how that all that'll fare but hopefully it does There was also one that <laughs> some people may find offensive, so that, that may have to be removed. I did notice this. Uh, I had to remove Tom's name from the description. Yeah, so it's, it's, you're not allowed to pr promote anyone. <laughs> But Welker Farms is allowed. And they've got a YouTube channel. So, how's that a thing? <laughs> That's what I said, mate. What about Welker Farms? <laughs> yep. Rule for one, and then another for another. <laughs> Rule for one and one for another. It's the saying. Not whatever it was, I just then bumbled out. But again, that's the uh, the inconsistencies in Giants. I so remember this one's over here. It's the inconsistencies in Giants testing at the minute. The rules and stuff. It's just why is it okay for one and not for another? That is what sort of annoys people at times. So if I remember rightly, this needs some folding on the back, which it should have just done. Lower it. And we'll turn it on. So yeah, we're going to start with a little bit of bailing. I love some bailing. <laughs> Although I spent quite a while the other evening watching um, 
Pleasant View Farms, and they they had the massive. Oh, they were on one of the Canadian maps. A massive meadow that they were doing for a contract, and um, they they were about just over halfway through when I had to uh, sign off and watch and go to bed because it was getting late. But they were at like two, three hundred bales on that one, so uh, people can't mind watching baling. It's not the worst thing, is it? I need to uh, all to unload. There we go, that should do it. Get this tight corner out of the way and I'll uh, have a little bit more turn and space on this as we trundle round. So I hope everyone's all, all well, hope you're all okay. Uh, thank you for joining me this evening. I do appreciate it. I'm sure many people have plans, but I thought, you know what, there's a lot of people that don't. And, you know, the gaming community can sometimes be a little bit lonely. So, uh, I thought I'd do a little stream, and if people want to drop in this evening, they can. Have a word, say hi, and do that sort of thing. I, say, I said a minute ago, my partner has uh, work early tomorrow morning. So she'll probably get a bit of an early night. I know she wanted to do some bits for her channel uh, this evening. Get a bit of time for herself. So she's going to do that. So uh, yeah, go check her out. Plumbob95. Does um, The Sims. Speed builds and let's plays. And this is quite a large community. And they all get involved with uh, build requests and designs and stuff like that. So it's, that's pretty cool. If that's your thing, or you think you know somebody might like that, pop over and give her a shout. But I must say, other than like those those few uh, first teething issues, like with the cows, and then coming in on new farmer and some of the buildings disappearing. I haven't had um, any other issues. I did see this afternoon someone was having trouble feeding. They got a hole, a hole, um, cow shed full of bulls, and they couldn't feed them the TMR mix. I think for some of these features, you need to be actually running Maze Plus. Not sure whether the bulls need to be fed like a, a maize plus beef feed or something, but I might get in touch with uh, Connor about that later. Not not over New Year's. But I'm gonna gonna see what he says. But I'm hoping my pigs are gonna be pretty easy. That's what I want here. We're doing doing the grass, the silage, and the hay. It's gonna be mainly for sale. We'll keep some of them because we do want to get, get a few uh, cows on here as well. I want to have a have a go at running pigs. I haven't really done a big pig farm, I don't think, since FS17, maybe? And that was on, like, the, the base map. Because I was just trying to do everything. That was, like, the, the saver I was trying to get all the achievements off of. So I was getting all the, all the cows, all the pigs, all the sheep. But yeah, that was the last time I did a big pig farm. Um, maybe... Maybe had a few on the old farm in 19, but not a lot. Nothing, nothing major. Did pigs on Marwell? It was mental. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had pigs. That's a lie, isn't it? I had pigs on um, Shamrock Valley. My little Let's Play series there was pigs. So I did do it. That was... That was on 19. But yeah, that might have been the only one. And they came over from Marwell, but that was all more storyline than anything else. Yeah, I did have pigs. They, they were a bit crazy at times then. That was running with... That wasn't running with Maze Plus on that. That was just with Seasons, I think. And yeah, that was... They'd, oh, they just reproduce at a crazy rate. You just can keep up with it. <laughs> I remember now. Old Man Memory doesn't even remember what I do without prompting from other people and their experiences. Hey Ryan, uh, welcome to the stream, and to you sir, Happy New Year to you. 
I have created a public post for that a little bit later. But yeah, I do wish you all a, a happy new year. And uh, for e everyone, anyone that has joined the channel this year and last year, but have been going for two years, but anyone that has uh, joined the channel this year uh, really helped hammer home sort of the the monetization part of it and, and the growth and, and the fun that I'm having here. I'm, I'm so thankful for it. I appreciate it so much. Just a man out here have fun playing these games that we missed a row. And uh, yeah, so for that I am I am greatly thankful to everyone. Everyone that's watched the video, liked the video, especially those that have subscribed. All good stuff. Now I did today try and add a chatbot to our chat. Hopefully that'll kick in. I have a person whose tutorial it was did warn that it can take a few minutes sometimes for the chatbot to realize that you're there so that might work it might not we'll see but that's mainly for promotion <laughs> so if you want to give a super thanks if you want to do a, was a super chat stuff like that all those little things all those little donations they really do help out and this week just 24 hours ago in fact got my first channel member which is absolutely brilliant so um, he's not here yet but a massive thank you to Mr. Teeble for subscribing to the channel what a legend watches it every day anyway but supporting the channel is amazing and I have said for before Everything that the channel makes is going to go into improving the channel and upgrading equipment and stuff so we can have better streams, we can make better content, I can you know, add to it and do stuff. And th that goes for my second channel that launches uh, on the 2nd, 2nd of January, launching a variety channel. Because the variety stuff doesn't do too well over here where I've sort of focused on simulation to start with. So obviously a lot of you guys are here for the simulation stuff, you're here for the farming, you're here for the trucking, that sort of thing. But I do like to play a variety of games, so so I've got somewhere to share them, uh, starring Mr. Farquhar Plus, and like I say, that's going to kick off on the 2nd, which is Monday. We also have new content starting here on the original Mr. Farquhar channel. Uh, that starts on the 2nd as well. Actually, I don't think the other channel the other channel starts on the 7th because it's going out on the weekend, so I lied. But we have fresh fresh content coming here on the 2nd, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Something I've been working on for a while. Uh, I'm guessing the map isn't up. What map's that, sir? And uh, hello, Jinx300. Welcome to the stream. What map are you guessing isn't up? Bally Springs? We're on Bally Springs. We are on Bally Springs, sir. We are out by what I consider to be the pig farm over there. I'll, I'll do a little. Uh, Halfway. There you go, this is Bally Spring. That's what we're running. That would be Ballam Road then. Uh, Ballam Road. No, that's not up. There's no new, no new mods coming out, mate. There's Giants are on holiday. No, no new mods till after the 9th. So if it wasn't out last week, it's not out <laughs> until then. They've got to take their break. And uh, I put this stream to a public vote, so 
whatever one won is the one that I did. And the uh, Bally Spring won this evening. So that means tomorrow night we're going to see in the new year with uh, Ballam Road. I said at the start that's good because it gives me a chance to uh, move away from some of the bailing on uh, Ballam Road because I've got a fair old bit to do there. And we've got bailing to do here. We don't want them to be exactly the same. Catch this a little bit. Whip that round. Right, we've got a few few little rows left. Hopefully we get another another bale or two and when it comes to wrapping these I am going to need to uh, lease myself a little bale wrapper don't own one because well, I want to be a pig farmer don't need to wrap the bales for that but maybe next time around I'm going to go in I'll adjust the pigs for their feed what they want so when he adjusted the uh, the cows because that's the only one I've run uh, Maze Plus with, but next time around when we come to uh, Bally Spring, I may have Maze Plus running so that if some of the animals are set to require Maze Plus feed for whatever reason, that they can. Next one, what we're after. Is that a fence or is that a gate? There we go, gate. There is a gate over yonder as well, which is the way I got in there when I cut it. Excuse me. Oh, forever having to clear my throat. I just need to get a little drink. I do, do apologise. There we go, slurping on me coffee. Rockstar lifestyle. I want to try and find where I started because I think I pretty much spiraled this whole one. I was just reading the Discord message that popped up. <laughs> Someone just sent me. <laughs> Are you there, FS? You'll like this. Someone just sent me a message. <laughs> just said, "I'll bring it up on my phone. It'll be easier." Oh no! They just said, "Doesn't recognise my phone thumbprint." Oh no! It's too funny. It's too funny. Where's it gone? Must be one of the other ones. Where are you? Must be in the chat. Nope, I think they've deleted it. I think they must be watching the stream and they've deleted it. <laughs> oh dear. So, <laughs> hi there. Can I please get a copy of Tom Pemberton's farm? My dad's friends with him in real life, he'll really like it. <laughs> Just gonna give out your map, mate. <laughs> That's... Sorry, people. Requesting for the map won't get you the map. You have to wait until it's released.
it's not even mine to give away, so it's absolutely no good asking me. I'd be a pretty shit and untrusted tester if uh, if I start giving out other people's private things, wouldn't I? I'd never get sent anything, so no, you'll you'll never get it. Never get it from me, anyway. Oh, you've seen that Discord. Did it go in yours? I don't know if it went in yours or mine. I got the notification though. This is <laughs> it's too funny. Fair enough, lad. Cheers, Riley. <laughs> Appreciate your efforts, though. You have to protect the mods. You have to protect the modders. That was, uh, was pretty funny. I guess Bally Springs will need an uptight now for people have found problems. Yeah, of course it will. Of course it will. It's an early release. He, they, they, he released it early so people could play on it. It, it gets more testers on there uh, to find the problems. You know, the, within, I think, a few hours of it being released, um, Connor had been bombarded with people, and some of them were quite rude as well. And... You know, I just said to him, just, just ignore them. A lot of these people that are going to be complaining and chatting shit about your map have never even opened a giant header, let alone tried to make a map of any sort of stem of realism. And the things he's tried to add here are pretty damn impressive. So yeah, it's not going to work perfect straight away. People forget that maps like uh, Calmston had glitches and errors in them after a year of nearly being tested. And worked on. And sometimes what works all right your end, when creating a map, especially, uh, something all you've got to do is put, uh, you know, a, a texture or a mod or a building, a placeable in the wrong spot on your PC. Say you've moved and put it in the wrong file. You send off. Your, your map to test. Giants aren't testing for that. They're checking that it doesn't crash, that it's not got nothing um, against their sort of the, the legality of their game and that you don't break their game. They're not worried about whether all your buildings turn up where they're supposed to. They're not worried about whether your animals feed or not. That's, that's not what Giants testing is about. So if you've left a texture, if you've left, left a model somewhere on your PC and not in your folder when you send it off other people don't get it and it's not until other people are out there and telling you that these things turn up I can't mod for shit, but those that can do it, you know, they put a lot of time and effort into it, and they don't mean to send something out that doesn't work. Not, <laughs> not most of them, anyway. I'm sure, there's the odd person that doesn't care, and they just want their map or their their tractor or whatever it is they're making. They want it out and they want it on the mod hub. But most modders aren't like that. I think with the sheer number of animal pens that were on this map to start with, I think including all the igloos that it started with, I think it was nearly 30 animal pens. And with them all set to function a little bit different, like with the igloos from the, the main pens and stuff, there was, you know, bound to be the odd issue. And then just setting certain buildings to, like, Farmer and Farmland 1. 
Uh, it's an amazing map. I will be moving to Ballam Road when it's out. Thing is, there's going to be such a choice now. I think for for British maps, isn't there? Like you've you got Bally Springs now, you know, here and on its way. You know, this is an early early preview, early release. So when this gets finished off, you know, it's going to be even better than it is now, and it's great now. You've got Ballam Road on the way. We've already got the likes of uh, Carmsden, Court Farms is on its way. Uh, Oxygen David is working on a, a third farm as well. And he started getting uh, assistance with models and placeables from Lancy Boy. So that's going to be a top draw map right there when uh, you got those guys teaming up. But for those that aren't into the British maps, you know, you've, you've got a lot of uh, European and American maps coming. There's a lot of them already out. And again, Lancey Boy's working on his uh, new American map. As well as helping out Oxygen David. It's took, it's took a good year. But I think some of the, some of the better stuff is now start to turn up in FS22. Personally, anyway. And as I said before, I like some of them funny little European maps, so I, I wouldn't say I'm easily pleased, but I do like a variety of things. Speaking of which, my friend Mr. Teeble has started a series on Celandra. Uh, Quite recently, he's been live streaming that. Go check him out if you're into a little, a little map. Let's play, and someone who's not new to the game but steps away and comes back, steps away and comes back. There's a lot of variety games in between. But he's he's quite a fun guy to watch. Watch him uh, <laughs> make more mistakes than myself. Which is, you know, saying something. And I'm sure most of the people here will know, but FS Landscaping has now started dropping some content for Ballon Road on his channel. So again, go check him out. Show some love. Uh, how many days am I doing per month on here? I think it's just sort of a casual slow thing, so... Um, probably three or four. Three days at the minute. But the time isn't rigid. I'm set at two just so I can get things done in chat and not have to worry about stuff. But when, when things are done, we'll just move on. But it's set at three days at the minute. <coughs> I usually do three days or like three days. I think it's a good pace for the, the small type of farm that I generally set up and start with. I, I think if Maypole goes much longer, that may have to get a fourth day added in. Just because it's getting so busy sometimes. Some months is just so busy. But then on the quiet months you can sort of just speed through the days a little bit, do it do a contract and bugger off with the day. I'm finding on on uh, Maypole I've got sugar beet and potatoes and quite a large quantity of them and when it comes to harvesting the sugar beet and the potatoes getting them out of the ground it is, it is mental it's been, I've got some coming up episodes of my <laughs> potato and beet harvests and as with <laughs> the last time I got beets out of the ground I was pretty close to a mental breakdown I think so <laughs> It's, it's, oh dear, it's terrible. I don't know why I struggle so much with the beet and potato. I just can't get the follow me or the course play to work the way I want it to when I when I do those crops. The uh, the corn the other day uh, that got released, the, vi the video with the, the follow me and the corn harvester, I'm sure that's already out. Like, it, 
the follow me, for whatever reason, just drove off in a completely different direction, went off in a circle, and then veered back and drove in at the side of me, in the harvester. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? So when you're recording, and you have stuff like that happen, and your day is starting to race away, trying to correct and fix things, because you don't want to fiddle about with the speed too much, especially for myself, because I forget that I've done it. And then we get halfway through an episode and no time has passed because I'm still on one time speed from fixing an error earlier on. Those are the worries. <laughs> but yeah, as a rule, especially if it's like a private one, which initially when I started this, it, it, I, I did think it would be just me playing a bit of Bally Spring, but then I decided to stream it. Um, so yeah, it, it's still sort of set up with that. I think my Calmston save is four days. Personally, for me, I play UK maps, Greenlands I love, and at some point, the maker of that is bringing out a new park. Can't wait. Yeah, Peter's uh, hopefully going to bring some more of his maps. I know a lot of people like his maps. I liked the other ones at Newport, the other small one, not New Park, but Newport. The one that was, com I would say, completely different, but was a lot more different from um, New Park and Greenlands because New Park and Greenlands I just always felt like Greenlands was a uh, a larger version of New Park it just had the extended part to it my only and it's only me, me personally my only personal issue was that was that I felt like the hedges the road and then the worked land was all right on top of each other like you couldn't you couldn't get into a field certainly by using a gate Without destroying your crops, I just felt like I just feel like there's there's like not enough like verge, and I know you can edit that yourself and do. But I, I had a good play on um, Newport, Cherish Newport was the third one he did. But yeah, I really like him and his maps. I, I used to quite like watching him because he'd um, in nineteen and at the start of twenty two, but in nineteen he'd uh, do his modern live. So I used to just enjoy sort of just sitting and watching him mod. Uh, yeah, that's very true, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, and in no way knocking it, I can't make a map. I'm trying, but I can't. And, uh, yeah, but it's, I always felt like the only way to get in there without destroying my crops was to drive through the bushes. And I don't like doing that. But that was the only way I could get a header in anywhere without destroying my crops. And, yeah. I haven't looked at Greenlands this time round, um, but from reading the uh, the description, it looks like it's got a nice bit of land there as well that you can do what you like with it. What I really liked from Pete, I'm sure it was Pete, that, yeah, Pete put him out his um, excuse me, his British farms, uh, shed packs and stuff, his animal uh, buildings and, and what have you, animal pens. They were really good. I really liked that. I don't even know if he managed to get them to work in 22, because I know when he converted Greenland's over, as I was watching him do it live, when he was trying to convert it all over, everything, he struggled to get all the textures and everything, and I think he went for base game instead, because it was just such a pain in the ass bringing everything over and updating and doing. But he's, he's been, or well, he was a little bit quiet on the mod front, um, I think he got married and sort of took busy living his life. Two by two in. Good about the feed for the bulls. Um, why they had so many, but that might explain it. <laughs> like, there was, I was like, why have they got this massive great shed full of bulls? <laughs> Confuse me. Oh, sorry, I missed that um, simulation station. Hello, good afternoon. It is good afternoon to you, and it's uh, it's quarter to eight over here. So I wasn't uh, ignoring you there. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen Simulation Station, I'm going to rave about this man for quite a while. I started watching his content. I'm um, not like after he subscribed my channel. Not a sub for sub, but I, I like to look at who's doing what and who's following me. And he also has a own the map challenge series, different from mine, which is uh, obvious, you wouldn't want to be the same, I have too many issues, 
Um, but his style, the way he presents his uh, his farm and his videos, is different from anyone else that I've watched. And uh, yeah, go give him a give him a check out. Simulation Station. Uh, he's got some some nice American style farms. I, I just like the way that he does it. I like it because it's different from mine, and I like watching people that are different from me. Um, Coop Farms, yeah, in 22 he opened up the bottom end of the map which was not possible to use in 19, yeah, I, I, I felt sure that was what I saw. So I think this, for me, is probably about as good as they are going to get. So we'll just stick this back in the farm for a bit. Remember where the way out of this field, this meadow is over here, isn't it? I try and stay somewhat up to date with people's maps and what they're doing, especially the people that I've liked previously in other games and their maps. Not necessarily the people, but their maps and their stuff. Um, because I, I just don't have the, t the time to check every map out. That's why I, I sort of stopped doing the map tours because. I, I just don't have the time to, to look at every map, every mod, and, you know, do what I want to do as well. I like doing the map tours, but sometimes they can take longer <laughs> longer than a, than a video does to make an episode. And if you're not sort of one of the first two or three people to, to drop a map tour, it's not getting watched. And you've got the, the likes of, you know, Mr. CDP and... DJ Goham and VF and, and whoever that, that get on them straight away so uh, thanks for the shout out definitely didn't need to do that I'm just here for some quality entertainment <laughs> no mate I will I, will. Uh, I this is very much a community project for me so uh, anyone that comes and supports me will, uh, will get my support back whether it be shout outs views you know the people who put out content that I like I subscribe to and yours I'm very much enjoying. Pete first started making maps in FS13 from what I've read. Yeah, it's been about a while. A lot of these guys have. And I think sometimes that's what people also need to remember. There's, as the game has got bigger, more people are now making maps. And they're trying to do it, you know, to a high standard. But, the, the you know, the big boys have been about for a while. They've been around for a long time. Some people have been with the game since, you know... 2009 I think I didn't start playing until FS15 on Xbox 360 and I tell you what when I first played it it was my brother's game played it on his Xbox and I thought to myself what the fuck is this crap what is the point and I didn't play it again and then um, I think it was on sale uh, on the Xbox One and I thought you know what I'm going to give that a go, because I bet the achievements are well easy to get, because it's a simulator game. And just through doing that, I got hooked. And then I went back and I brought FS13, and then I brought 15 uh, again on 360 and got all the achievements again. And then I brought 15, 17, 19 on, on Xbox. I've brought 17, 19, and 22 on PC. I do have 22 on PC, but it's hardly ever booted up, because I find it painful. Um... Uh, FS Landscape, I'm floating back and forth at the minute, mate, so I might be gone from time. Mate, you do what you like. Uh, this is, you know, it's here it's, it's here for if people want to come in and do. I don't expect people to turn up from minute one and stay until I say goodbye. Uh, Simulation Station, well, thank you. I'm absolutely loving this map. Actually looks like I'm running the same farm. Uh, I'm at the pig farm. I want to get pigs. I've not got them yet because I want to get myself some crops in. I don't want to have to buy pig food. I was looking at buying pig food. Uh, before I booted up the stream, just just so we could get some animals in, but I wanna I wanna try and run it and uh, have that sorted that way. So next up, we'll change over vehicles. I was gonna take the Volvo out and mow another meadow, but I won't. 
I've been looking at placeables to see what things I can fit in this little square. There's quite a few I'm thinking about. <laughs> it's... Um, I started on mobile, it was called FS14. <laughs> I think I, I got, um, I think it was free at the time, FS16 or FS18 I do have on mobile. I think I played it for maybe an hour in total. I can't say I was a fan. But the, the last sort of mobile Switch uh, version looks to be doing pretty good still, so... I do, I do tell the missus every now and then that I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put Farm Sim on her Switch, and she always tells me, I, No, you're not. I say, no, I'm not. I'm not that mean. I don't know why I'm bringing the mower around here. I don't want the mower around here. Um, well, how are you today? I'm very well, Kazzy W. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you're well too. How's your day going? Does anyone have further plans for New Year celebrations, or is everyone just rained off? I'll never understand why giants stopped us feeding cow silage, mate. I, I think I say that every video, every stream, it, it's it's boggling. I'm not quite sure whose idea that was or why they thought it was a good idea. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I didn't put these away in that shed very well. Just gonna stick it in here for now. Uh, I got FS20 on mobile. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have. I mean, it's a popular popular title. They keep putting out free content and stuff for it, or on the Switch version anyway. I'm sure the Switch and the mobile are pretty much the same. Not to knock the Switch in any way. If I had more time, I'm sure I would play on my partner's Switch. If I had more time, I'd play more, more games on my PC and my Xbox. Right, so we're going to head out. Clearly, we're heading out with the tedder. Just so you know, we're going to go ted some, make some hay in some different fields. I think once I've done the tedding, we might we might uh, look into that disc harrow. No one got back to me. Uh, if I disc harrow the grass meadow, does only ever use cultivators and um, ploughs or subsoil? Will the disc harrow dig up the grass for me? Let's go in my little view. Now, the entrance to this meadow, I think, is down the bottom. It's not over here, is it? No. See, there's something that I really like about this, is that the hedges have collisions. I like maps where hedges have collisions. I'm not one to really drive through a bush anyway, but I like to know that I can't. Oh no, that's not crazy mate, many people do that. Many people, there'll be a particular game they like or they want and you know what, that's not always the case, but most of the time there's a better version of it on PC. So uh, yeah, providing your PC is more powerful than the console. I've always, well, sad, but yeah, I've always had consoles, and I've always flitted um, with PC gaming. I used to do a lot of PC gaming, but mainly sort of management games. Uh, I have a massive Steam library of all sorts of games that never really got played, as well as I have a <laughs> stupidly big uh, console back library as well, uh, back catalog, but. That's why I want to do the variety game as well, because I've got plenty of content I can create with the games I have, and I'm sure someone might enjoy them if I did. That's how I look at it. If I enjoy this, someone else out there must enjoy it. So that's why I want to do the two channels. 
Yeah, I forgot to turn the uh, the swaffer off on the on the little the little Putinger. It has a swaffer option, and uh, I didn't really need it for here because I wanted to do some hay as well. But I, I brought a, a brand new, bigger PC just because I wanted to do the YouTube thing. I didn't, I didn't necessarily need it. I, I wanted to, to be able to do this better than what I was doing it before. And I knew the things I wanted to do and where I wanted to go with it. And for that, I needed a better machine. Um, for me, it was it gives you more access to mods, etc. On console, on consoles, you are you are limited. You're very limited. But that's, that's just because, you know, Microsoft and Sony don't want their consoles breaking. It's all it is. It's all it is to protect. They can they can run the things, but there's always a risk that users... Like, there's some people that only have a console for playing farm sim. And they'll load... If they were given the freedom to, they'd load that whole hard drive up with all the mods. They'll try and run all the mods, and the console just isn't powerful enough to do all of that and you know if if they allow you to do it they've got to support it if it breaks so suddenly you've got everyone breaking their consoles because you've allowed them to run as many mods as they want and whatever mods they want then obviously the licensing agreement is giant's end the agreement with the consoles I mean, you, can, you just can't have that uh, that sort of agreement with PC because, you know, you can get mods from anywhere. You don't have to get mods off the mod hub. And I'll be able to tell you, you should. But it, it's not like it used to be. Third-party sites aren't what they used to be. Especially if you go for someone uh, like King Mods, who's affiliated and linked with Giants anyway. I think if you open a Giants... Like, mod creator account, you instantly get a King Mods account anyway. <laughs> I'm sure that's a thing. That's how linked and friendly they are. So so when you see people ranting and raving about third party sites ripping off and doing this and doing that, stealing mods, most of them aren't. And third party sites are a good way of getting your mods out there a little bit earlier and having more people, you know, play test them if you want and, and finding out what's wrong and what's not and what people like. A, a, you know, quite a few creators use them to run their beta uh, test mods. But then you have to be careful with what you're getting as well because uh, the mod can, you know, mess your game up. Yeah, I, I use King Mods. Most of my videos, there's a link to King Mods in there next to right next to Giants, because I never remember where I get my mods from, and uh, I, I've said before, if you're not sure of um, like a mod, like if you go to Giants um, website mod hub, the search engine is awful. It doesn't matter what you type in that search bar. The thing you want doesn't turn up for like four pages. It'll just keep promoting you the latest, the newest, and the most popular. Whereas if you go to an actual <laughs> mod website, you can type in the search bar what you want, and that mod will turn up. And if it's on Mod Hub, there'll be a link for it taking you to Mod Hub. Not to some dirty, nasty website where they're trying to get you to pay for stuff or trick you into ads. It will take you to the Mod Hub if the mod is on Mod Hub. if we cut this one or not, did we? Well, we didn't. It's ready to now, though. This one's still growing. I, know, I thought I cut another one. Obviously didn't. Let's have a look at the map. Let's have a little wee butchers. So, if I turn my grass on...
No, I did just. And that one. That's already grown back through. Okay, so I do need to cut one more. So I do need to cut one more. Okay. See if we can do a little turn in the road here. But I did have a little falling out with uh, one particular modder over that exact discussion. And he was slagging people off for using other sites. And then about a week later, on his same Facebook page, he was promoting his own King Mods link and website. Like, get a grip, mate. <laughs> Either you're for it or against it. Uh, yeah, Mod Hub, if you see something you want, you know it's there. But oh, that search bar is a nightmare. It is! It's atrocious. I've got distracted and got caught up on my uh, wire fence now. It is. I, I've never known a search bar to work as poorly as that one does. <laughs> but you can type in the exact name of the mod you want and it still won't turn up in the first two or three pages. we will go and uh, cut that other meadow. I'm not in a desperate need for it, but I would... Oh, we do need to sow as well. We need to sow in September. I mean, time's not exactly racing away from us, as I might actually speed that up. It's on three. Oh, three. Okay, will we get things done? Sorry, lol. No, you be sorry for me. You'll be sorry. Ain't done no bad. Just need a little drink. I forget to drink. I have to remind myself. I need to um, need to do this on Twitch. So there could be a hydrate button for people. Turns out my chat bot didn't turn up, did it? <laughs> Gone for an hour. I was supposed to start doing shit after about five minutes. <laughs> ah, cold coffee. Love it. So next up, oh right, I crashed through really, I did, yeah. <laughs> That's because my second screen is right off to my left. I have to look away, from, pretty much look away from the monitor and just do it out of my eye, out of the corner of my eye. I think, I think we'll head to the store and we'll see about the, uh, the disc arrow, whether that'll do what I want it to. Honestly, I'm not playing stupid. I really can't remember the last time I used a disc harrow instead of a cultivator. But someone said in a comment that disc harrows won't give me stones, so I've been having issues with stones on one of my uh, one of my maps. I did take that off the back, didn't I? Yeah. I just want to dig out. If not, we'll uh, we'll take it back and have to get cultivator. But. have a little cruise around. I'll do a little out, out of cab while we go about. Hi Davies, how are you? Welcome to the stream. So, sorry, I was just having an indigestion. <laughs> I won't be rude. Uh, how are you, my man? Hope you're well. Just going to follow the JCB. We've 
you've gone back in cab, I just prefer it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's more realistic. Oh, look at that traffic. That's not even my fault. Four cars deep plus me. Oh, that was close. Maybe had an accident. Oh, mate. Don't wait for them. Chow's moving. Got tools to get. Oh, good lordy, come on. Now, I have had um, vehicles, uh, AI vehicles, collide with each other here at this junction. Caused quite a backup. I didn't want to turn them off because they are quite nice having the uh, the custom unique vehicles driving around. It's nice to see a tractor and a, a loader and that driving around. An excavator, possibly. Right. Forgot to turn them back on again. But we're going to go find the trigger. So what I want, what I want is... A disc arrow. Things to do, people to see, places to go. Exactly. Busy man, busy man. We've got muck to play in. Now, the Cavernaland, 3 metres, 100 horsepower. 3 metres, 95 horsepower for the Putinga. Putinga. Like I say, I've been told we don't get stones. So I'm going to give it a lease. And we'll see. We'll see. See if people are telling me porgies. Be a good test for... Uh... Left, left through there. <laughs> Just jump out the window. I'm done, mate. Right. <laughs> uh, that's our animal trailer when we finally get pigs. We can stick ten pigs in there at once. Lovely bit of pork. So we should have an extra 45 horses to power the tractor. That's our roller, innit? I forgot. I left my roller here still. Twice now I've left the roller there. We'll grab that when we want it. That's for, the, for doing the meadows. Don't get the bales out yet, anyway. Oh, good, we'll get stuck behind another one. And all that traffic. Oh! Let's go. Oh, damn, I'm in the way now. Go on. Right, let's go before someone else turn up. If they do jam up in front where he turned out, if you're not already stuck in traffic, you can nip down there and work, <laughs> drive around, that's what I did. I suppose I should put my uh, beacons on as well. If I got that tool on the back. There we go, they're on. Indicator off. I, d I didn't, mate. I, I've, I've done a thing for myself. I set up a bot as well, but that's not turned up. But I've just put moderator on my other, on my other channel, so I can uh, do it whenever. Because then when I stream for my other channel, I'll, I'll moderate from this one for it on a different screen. So he's having to rely on someone else or always being in there. <coughs> what 
like jumped on that sex spot pretty quick. Despite the amount of issues I have while I I play, record, and do this game, I can I can use a mouse with my left hand whilst doing everything else with my right as well. I've gotten good at that. So we're going to, hopefully, might sound like a waste, but we don't need the grass. We're just doing grass to make sure we've got stuff ticking over and doing. We want to dig up this uh, this meadow. So I'm hoping I can with the disc harrow without bringing up a shed load of stones. That would be nice. Oh, well, it's digging it up. I'm alright for a minute, mate. I can't lie, I'm alright with it. Now I've got that sorted. It should be alright for a little while. It don't get out of hand in there anyway. That's what I'm thinking. To be fair, I probably should have come in with a plough and then sort of extended that a little bit. I don't have the... Uh, field creator for cultivator thing mod going at the minute haven't used it for a while because I kept doing it by accident I'll just loop this round and uh, turning the grass in might actually uh, give us a little bit of fertiliser in there as well possibly I'm not sure if that will show up. I think it is. There's a little bit of lightness to it there. Around the edge. Save us a penny. Penny saved. There's a penny earned or something, I think. It's the same. Don't really know. Sounds up. So what's everyone else's plans for the rest of the evening? For the rest of your old year's night? Just staying in, chilling? Anyone off out later? I haven't been out on New Year's or Old Year's for so long. I can't remember the last time I went out for Old Year's. I think Old Year's got expensive. I'm playing on a new map and it's gorgeous. Good on you, mate. What map are you playing on? Where are you at this evening? <laughs> AFS, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, what map are you on at the minute, Davies? Spending the night watching some good old American football with my wife, Dora, and folks, lol. Why not? Why not? Uh, who, who's playing? Who are you supporting? Uh, Ryan's chilling and playing Bally Spring for the night. Good on you. Yeah, Simulation Station. Who, who's your team?
been a Colts fan since about 97, 98. I haven't followed so much in recent years because I just haven't had the time to be able to sit down and <laughs> gorge uh, an NFL game. But I used to. I used to watch the NFL just as religiously as I used to watch the Premier League. Yes, FS, you definitely should. I'm telling you, mate, he's he's got some quality uh, some quality content out there. I think that you could uh, get a little rub from. I think it might uh, get your creative juices going, mate. Uh, Davies is on uh, new Mini Brun. Uh, I liked Mini Brun when I, I've, I've installed new Mini Brun. I want to have a little look at it because as... <laughs> As, as basic as it was, I, I, I like a small map for those small times that I get to play in between doing stuff. So yeah, I, I played a lot of Mini Brun on uh, on 19, and it, it kept getting updated and improved as well. Considering it was such a you know such a small map, and it just you know was a Mini Brun, as in Felsbrun. Uh, it was it was I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, but I haven't I haven't gotten on it yet. I was going to do my own little map tour on it first. Uh, da -da -da -da. Simulation Station says fantastic FSL. That's very much appreciated. I, I think he'll like it. I think I think it'll uh, help to re reignite some of his YouTube juice. He was telling me that he was uh, not feeling it lately. I think he's buried himself in so much of the modern of late that the YouTube thing has sort of fell to the wayside, obviously. You got, can only focus on one thing, probably. Uh, so, yeah, I think watching your content and the way that you do things could help him with developing more on his YouTube front. Um, my NFL team is the Detroit Lions, unfortunately, but the football that is on tonight is college football playoffs. Ah... I don't really know much about college football. I know college football is actually, I think it's bigger than the NFL in America, and except everyone loves their home team and stuff. But yeah, I like I like watching films about college football <laughs> and high school football, and stuff like that. We just don't have we don't have that grassroots stuff in the UK for our football. Like no one cares about their high school football team, and your local football team is your Premier League team or your. You know, if you're fortunate enough to live in one of the 20 seats as a Premier League team, it, you know, but then not everyone supports their local team. Whereas, like in the US, generally most people seem to support their local city team. They support their local college team, or you know, their their sons or their daughters' colleges, and they get proper into it. There's so much money invested in it, and that's why they have such top athletes. Whereas top Premier League footballers come from council estates and have got a drug problem and an alcohol problem before they're probably even in the Premier League and they just got to hide it. <laughs> they're not nurtured athletes in the same way. Funny, I don't recall anybody watching our school football team just as well, too. We were crap. So yeah, our football, oh, we had a good school football team, but no one cared about it. Absolutely no one cared about it. I mean, we had a, we had a team for every sport at our school. No. Played in the football team, played rugby, cricket. Our cricket team was uh, famous in the area for being utterly shit, but we turned up to every match looking for a fight. <laughs> we, were, we were council born and bred, heading out into the countryside. We were well up for a good time. Someone said we could... <laughs> We could leave the city with bats. We were like, oh yeah, I'll play cricket. <laughs> terrible, terrible youths we were. I don't think I've dropped that. Oh, my head spun right round then, did you notice? 
But yeah, in, a, in America, they get right behind it. Even like with the cheerleading and, you know, gymnastics and stuff. We got to the Northern Ireland Schoolboys Cup final and got hammered by the Portadown High School. I don't know, I always worry about anything that involves children, anything that might be a little bit close to the Catholic Church. <laughs> yeah, sports were a big deal over there. They are. I, just, I wish they were a little bit bigger deal over here. Like, that didn't matter what my daughter got into uh, during school. I, if, if I could get there, I went. And um, me and me and my ex-wife, we split up when she was young, so it's not like I was there instant access. But I, I went to every netball game that she went to, every football tournament she went to. You know, I went to every dance, every s singing thing. Like she got into drama, she got into music, she, she played sports. Because I think it's the only way that children really find what they want to do. They have to be supported in doing it. I mean, she was a good little singer. She was a good little football player and a good little netball player. Hey, Indy. Welcome to the stream, my dear. Appreciate you being here and spending a bit of your old years with me. I hope you're well. I hope you're well. I was pleased to see a little bit of activity coming from the channel today. I do worry when you go silent. Uh, such a great dad, it's tough to keep up with all that. Oh dear. I, I'd never consider myself a great dad, but I just wanted to, you know, do that and, and support her. And I still do now, man. She, she's 18 and she made bad decisions, but when I was 18 I was making worse decisions. So... You're young once and you can only learn by doing it, unfortunately. Uh... Damn it, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was burnt out and needed to change things. Nah, that's... We all get there. And I, I don't like... don't like it when a channel that I like watching, <laughs> and I get used to watching, sort of goes quiet for a period of time. You worry that everyone's alright? We still have the plague looming over us at times. Uh, I remember 18 and all the mistakes I made. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, sometimes I try and have to, I have to try and remind my my ex-wife of that as well. I was like, you know, she she doesn't bring trouble her, to your doorstep. She's she's not a kid that gets, or she's never been a kid that gets in trouble, causes trouble. She's, you know, she's quite quiet and reserved as a whole. But she's funny, and you know, she's smart. But she still makes 18-year-old mistakes. She makes, you know. 16 year old mistakes but I always 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 think like since she was about 12 13 she wanted to go to work and earn her own money and she used to apply to all every anywhere that she could get to within distance after school she used to apply to to try and get work after school to get money and then as soon as someone took her on she's always worked and always had her own money it never lasts but she's always had her own money and I think there's not many kids from 13 onwards that are always trying to work, trying to earn money, trying to support themselves to get what they want. She goes to college. She does well there. I can't complain. Uh, new Mini Brun is not a small map. I would say it's medium or large. It's not large. It's mini. It's she matured early. Yeah, I guess she did. In some aspects. <laughs> you have to when you've got a father like this. <laughs> uh, sounds like a great quality. You should be proud. I am. I am proud of her. Uh, she made me laugh the other day. She, uh... <laughs> And I can't say nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm covered in tattoos. Uh, she sent me. <laughs> she gave me a, a video call. 
and she'd just been and got her first tattoo. And uh, bless it, she's. <laughs> You know how uh, some parents get their children's date of birth tattooed on the inside of their arm? Well, on one of her arms she's got my date of birth, and the other one she's got her mum's date of birth. <laughs> it's just like, that's, that's sweet. But she was like, oh, but you and mum have both got tattoos for me. It's like, yeah, we have, but yeah, it's your body, you do it like. She goes, don't you like it? I say, no, it's really nice, it's really thoughtful. It's like, this is better than a boyfriend's name, or something like that. Oh, that's so beautiful of her to do. Uh, I never even considered my parents' day of birth. <laughs> exactly, there's so... I mean, there's a lot of people out there that don't even, <laughs> even know the year their parents were born. Yeah, it's, it's sweet of her. She's, she's a good kid. So then once I've got this one turned over, we'll, uh, we'll stick a cedar on the back and uh, we'll see if we can't get some wheat or some barley in the ground. We can plant wheat and barley I think at the minute. Yeah, I have symbols for my, uh, for my children. I quite like uh, Celtic symbolism. And stuff like that. Uh, so I have I have uh, Celtic symbols for my children. And I have a rose for my partner because that's her middle name. So it's not so glaringly obvious. Did I have a nice Christmas? I did, thanks man. Yeah, thanks Davies, I did. Uh, we had sort of Christmas morning at home. Mrs. cooked us a lovely Christmas dinner. We went to her grandparents in the afternoon because uh, her grandfather can't get out and about. He's sort of housebound. But a lot of the family went there and spent the afternoon and the evening there with them. And then Boxing Day, we went and uh, spent Boxing Day with my mother because that's ever since me and my ex wife broke up, me and my daughter have always gone and spent Boxing Day at my mother's as like our Christmas Day. And Although she's 18 and I'm nearly 40, I still want to go and see my mum over Christmas and she still wants to come and see her nanny. So uh, we still do that. And uh, yeah, so that was nice. And then on the... Uh, what exactly is Boxing Day? It's the day after Christmas. <laughs> different people will tell you different reasons for why it's called Boxing Day. I think it's when you're supposed to, when you're supposed to open your presents. But then it would be called Unboxing Day, wouldn't it? I'm sure someone can educate me in the real reason why it's called Boxing Day. But that's when you go... That's that's generally more of the party day of Christmas. Christmas is a little bit official and a little bit stuffy sometimes. Whereas Boxing Day is a little bit more relaxed. But yeah, so we go and do that. And then the 28th of December... <laughs> it's about boxing. Yeah, it's about having a fight. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> well up for some of that. Lol at uh, unboxing day. Unboxing day, yeah. That's what it is. It's the day when traditionally it used to be the day sort of when the sales start. Actually it used to be you used to have to wait till New Year's for your sales. And for your New Year sales, but then it became Boxing Day sales. And now everything's on sale from like Black Friday onwards, and we never even used to have Black Friday. Now we have Black Friday month. I always thought it had something to do with Premier League, and now it's been Boxing Day since before the football. Definitely been the Boxing Premier League's only, what, 25 years old? It's like the Black Friday of Christmas. Uh, it's not that severe. It's not that severe. Black Friday is something... Oh dear. 
but we had one year, I think the first year they really tried to put it out over here, Black Friday, it was just brutal and too many people got injured and hurt that it then became Black Friday weekend with Cyber Monday, then it became Black Friday week. But there's a sale every every month, there's a reason for a sale. And over here in the UK we always laugh that the DFS sale has been going on for about 40 years because there's always a DFS sale. <laughs> and an SCS, and that's not the people that do e uh, ETS trucking. But there's always a sale. Boxing Day sale, New Year's sale, Easter sale, Summer Bank Holiday sale, Midsummer sale, Fall sale, Autumn sale, Halloween sale. Anything to get you to spend your pennies. Right, where do we leave through? Over here. You'll like a new mini brun? Good, mate. That's all that matters. As long as you're enjoying it. I say I enjoyed it first time round on 19. It was a fun little thing to do. Now, before I take this back, so I think I need to do potatoes. So I need to dig that one up as well because I've got the canola. I'll do wheat and um, sorghum instead of corn. It is a small... <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you think it's a small map or not, it's a small map. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a mini... It's mini Felsbrun. That's what it is, it's mini Felsbrun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put sorghum in here, wheat in there, canola in there, and potatoes up here so I need to need to go and dig that one out <laughs> oh yeah see it's mini fells but it's mini brun <laughs> it's, it's, it's name is literally small town <clears throat> People are funny. I've started to use your streams to relax too into the evenings. I put them on and just run them on. The oh, pleasure! That's very kind. Of you. I'm glad that I uh, I offer the, uh, the the therapeutic touch for some. That must be that that beautiful voice that I have. By the way, if anyone else feels like just sticking my videos on and going to bed and letting them run through the night by all means do so I have no I have no ob <laughs> objection to anyone put my, oh, put my videos on and not watching them as long as they put them on and let them go at the end I forget we get traffic down here my voice is very calm and that's very kind of you to say since I caught COVID a few months back, my voice has completely changed. It's, com it's really hoarse and worn all the time. It really did a number on my throat. Speaking of which, I just needed to have a little drink. Oh dear. Let's bring up the... Uh Right, so it's two fields down. Uh, COVID has some lasting changes for so many people. I, you know, I did so well and I didn't catch it for so long. Uh, we went away at the end of the summer. And I think my partner caught it while we were away just before we got back. Because when she came back she was so ill. And then uh, just at the back end of hers, obviously I then caught it. And it proper knocked me really did. Now I think this one is me. I did check but I forget that is me. Right let's back up before traffic comes. But I've got some very different content coming uh, in the new year uh, indie on the other channel. 
so hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. That may even be more some of the, some people's cup of tea that might that, that come for different reasons. Some might prefer some of the new stuff. You're gonna do a little bit more traditional variety let's play gaming and stuff like that. I may live stream some of that as well at times, but I'll wait until maybe I got a bit of an a bit of an audience to watch at first. But I've already got stuff lined up and ready to go. I'm gonna be doing some triple A's and like indie games. So excuse excuse me. Stay clear me through again. Um so yeah, I've, I've, I've been having fun playing other games again, which is nice. Because I always felt... It sounds silly, but I always felt guilty playing other games when I knew I could be recording for the channel and I knew that the other games weren't going to do so well on the channel. And I was saying to my partner the other day, like, I know that when this new stuff starts releasing, it's not going to do massive numbers because no one knows the channel's there yet. And the people that are here aren't for, that are here for the farm and aren't necessarily going to follow me over there. So I do have to build up again. But at least I won't feel like I'm putting it somewhere it's not wanted. Whereas people can go and find it now. And it's not getting buried in simulation. Because some people might like the um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Or they might have liked Death Stranding. And they might really hate farm sim or they might write, they hate truck sim and then think oh why would I keep coming back if it's putting out farm sim every day and only putting out a video I want once or twice a week so it's just getting that balance right and I think a second channel is the answer or I'm hoping it is anyway Uh, I'll, I'll check it out. I decided to uh, just do whatever I want. I got stuck with Slime Ranch and, and no passion for it. That's the thing. You get you get something and maybe it's gone really well, but you want to do other things. So then in, in your case, taking that break away gives you a chance to come back a little bit fresh. And if it's still in that similar sort of uh, indie genre, since you are the indie journey, if it's still in that indie genre, then... Uh, it still fits a bit without having to be so orientated towards one title. Uh, this is my second channel now. Uh, I'm working on another. Ah, uh, that's it, yeah. Why not? It's hard starting from the bottom. I'll be there, you're right. It's tough to, to change. Yeah, it is tough to change content, people. And when I first started out, I didn't intend on being a sole farm sim channel. I always wanted to get other content on there, but I knew that I could do the farm sim and I was doing the farm sim and that was working well. And I really enjoy farm sim. It's not like I'm playing a game I don't like. I'm playing a game that doesn't like me a lot of the time. It likes to crap on me and my efforts, but I like playing it. I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't play it if I didn't. I'm not that sort of person that I just do it because other people want it. Hence why I've often tried to crowbar other stuff in on the channel there. Uh, Ryan says, when you start on Ballon Road, do you already have some cows or have to buy them? You start with uh, 120 dairy cows and they're in the top uh, meadow and then you start with 100 beef cows over by uh, the second farm so where, the, where the beef cow get kept. Uh, Davies Farm, I find you funny. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good quality. I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm quite funny too. <laughs> My missus would say, no you're not. <laughs> As I laugh at her. But, yeah. I wouldn't say I was the class clown, but I always like to have a joke and a laugh. He does think he's funny. See? I told you. She'd say it. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. 
If you haven't already, go check out Plumbob95. That's my partner. Go give her a like and a sub. She's uh, supposed to be working on content this evening as well. I enjoy your ability to just chat as you play. It took a lot getting used to. As as a, as a slightly older man, it's, it's not normal. <laughs> not for me anyway. It's not normal uh, to to audibleize every single thought. And when I first started recording uh, and, and chatting at the same time, I'd always find myself quiet and concentrating on doing the task because I wanted to get it right. I didn't want to look crap at the game. And then was talking in the bits I really needed to be cutting out because no one wants to see you driving to and from a, a location all the time in a video. But that was when I was talking, so trying to get myself out of that instant habit was really hard. It took me a long time to get out of that, and I, I still do it sometimes. But I catch myself, and I sometimes put it in the edits where I tell myself to shut up. And uh, I normally stick them at the end of a video, a little treat for people that do stay to the end. You get my uh, outtakes. Uh, but yeah, some, I, mean, some I, I, I don't forget to talk so much now. Although, when I stream sometimes, if there's not much going on with the chat, which sometimes there isn't, if I'll, I'll get in that routine of I'm talking because I'm doing the job, and then, and then I'm instantly thinking, well, I'm going to cut this, and then I just sit here and be quiet while I do something else. And I need to be talking then as well. Because when I'm when I'm recording, our oh, chair simulation station. That's very kind of you. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. She's got a growing channel. She's getting she's been a bit quiet on there lately, but she's been so busy with work and her own things, and you know, being pregnant, it's not not easy. So uh, yeah, she's uh, she's gonna be putting some time in to get some content back up and go. She's really close to her first 1k. And their hours are looking good as well, so she needs to get there. <laughs> awesome. See, shout outs do help. And even just the other day, I was uh, chatting with uh, Mr. Tebow in his in one of his streams, and uh, <laughs> he was kind enough to give. Uh, no, that went it was uh, Schwardo. Schwardo gave a shout out to to Plum Bob, and she weren't even there. He doesn't even know who she is, but he knows it's my missus, so he put a shout out for her. You might find this funny. I was planning to build a yard on uh, Mini Brun, but instead I put a field. These things happen. These things happen. The, the amount of mistakes I make, Davies, it's incredible. Uh, you'll get there in no time. 1K is exciting. And uh, Ryan Hegarty, sub you too, babe. Look at that. We'll be there by the end of the evening. One K is exciting. It's it's a, it's a grind, but then the real grind works because you've got to keep it. You've got to keep entertaining, and you've got to keep growing. But you think the first I don't know. Did different people get there in different times? Depending on your content and what you do, and every every channel is different. Every journey is different. Like for me, it, it was about 18, 17, 18 months for my one K. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit disappointed with myself. I wanted to get there sooner, but I took two maybe three breaks in between, uh, plus my PC died shortly after we moved and I had to wait for it to come back, and just uh, that was at the launch of FS22, so I didn't have the, the, the boost on the platform that I was hoping to get, because my first few videos did really well, and I didn't put a video out for like a month, and everyone else just had so much more content than me. But when, when I did hit it, I was quite relieved. But I also hit it at a time when I was taking a break from uploads. 
So I, I hit my 1k and I was like four days into a 10 day planned break and only had one video going out. And it was a video I knew that people weren't necessarily interested in. Um, because it was like a six hour playthrough of, um, I can't think of what it's called now, something fall. After the fall, before the fall. It was, uh, it was a slog. I was just like, oh, as if it happened now. <laughs> My analytics put me at either getting it before the period or after the period. So that was why I sort of planned the break. Uh, you know what? My channel has grown a lot uh, since my silence. It's weird. Yeah, sometimes, like, when when, um, when my uh, graphics card broke and I had to wait for it to come back, like, the, the growth I got in that period of not releasing videos was actually quite impressive. But it was on older content. It wasn't necessarily on the FS stuff I wanted to do. And then that was what then encouraged me in the new year to add more variety. And then the variety plummeted. <laughs> That's our oh, bollocks. <laughs> uh, I was glad when you made it to. I was so excited for you. Yeah, thank you. I do appreciate that. I, I do know who, who genuinely support the channel. Because uh, you get some people who have channels and they come and they support in quotation marks, but they're there for self gain and that's fine. Everyone, everyone wants to grow, but you can tell when there are people who genuinely want to see you succeed and want to want to help you along that way. And uh, I, I often say to people now, and I put it in my Discord as well, when people come in and they've got a channel and it's a channel I like and a channel I can get into, and I'll, I'll share their content, I'll mention them, I'll give them shout outs. And they always say you don't have to do that. But these days, YouTube isn't what it used to be. YouTube is such a team effort to be successful now. And, you know, we're small channels. You can necessarily say we were like super successful, but we're there on that journey. And it, it, it takes a community now. Getting that one, one or two big viral hits is such a rare thing. It really is. Uh, I always support you. you can't, yeah, thanks, Dave. You see, but you always you, you know the people that are there and doing. And like I say, people can come and go. This up to them. I don't I don't hold anyone to anything. I appreciate those that do stick around and that do do it. But I've always said, like from day one, you. But when people pop in your videos, and quite often the people that pop in and just say, "Oh, great video," quite often. They haven't watched it anyway, um, so I don't mind that people don't always comment if that's all they got to say, because you can tell who's there to get their their page um, seen with their avatar for people to click on, and people who are there with feedback. That's what you, the people that watch till the end. Normally, there's something there for them they can comment on, or I ask questions throughout my videos and you know who's who's commented and answered so you know who's who's watching it and even if people just want to say that they did like something like, I'm happy with that um, Indy said I, I genuinely feel bad when I don't comment and let you know I'm still around I totally keep up with you because you make great content so that's, that's very kind you do Davies you do Like I say, Indy, that's why I sometimes get a little bit, oh, this channel's been a bit quiet for a while. I hope they're all right. But you don't want to be intrusive. Because you only know people, or you only know of the channel through the channel. They're pry into people's lives and always oh, everything all right. You've been a bit quiet. <laughs> I'd always check on my mates if I ain't heard from them. <laughs> so, but you do, there are certain, like, you, you get familiar with a routine of people, like, uploads and stuff and seeing them do stuff. And, But in between your uploads, you always used to be really active with your community posts. And sort of that was a big part of the things I missed. There's always a indie journey community post, a poll, a question. Like to get involved. 
today I put up my very first poll. And it, it, it got more interactions than I thought it would because a lot of my posts that I put in my community tab don't really, or my community feed, don't really get a lot of interaction. But the poll did, which was uh, pretty cool. Might do more polls. Midi Dash, you stuck with me. Listen to you, it's so easy on the ear. Wife is reading. You're on the PC, rubbish on the TV, lovely jubbly. <laughs> Thank you, Vidi Dash. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, polls are good, especially uh, spot polls are gold, especially image polls. Yeah, this was an, uh, an image one, and it, all it was was a vote on what map we played on today. But that will help further content, which is uh, which is good. Yeah, most most of my uh, my community stuff, 10, 12 interactions max, which once again is fine. A lot of people don't interact with community posts, so they don't see them as frequent. I interact with a lot of community posts, so I tend to see a lot of them. Whereas this one, this poll, I think at the time I made the decision the poll was done and I was going to go live with the, with the stream, I think we had nearly 60 interactions on it. Which is awesome. So I might I might do two more polls rather than maybe having uh, a set day or a set map that we go live with. We'll have a selection of two or three that can be brought upon on a regular basis, and the community can pick which ones we play when I'm ready to go live. Just give it, like, you know, five or six hours notice. Just a way of doing things. Uh, people come to expect them, especially when you do a series like that. Yeah, exactly. You used, you really did use your community tab as a way of putting out content. And I didn't really look at my community tab like that. I just used it as like a notice board. Whereas maybe I, I should use it differently with the with the new channel. I might try and use it differently, but it's, again, it's something everyone can, can use. It's a tool. You can either use it or you don't, and you use it your way. Uh, do I play Grand Theft Auto? Not very much. If I do, I tend to just play the single player. I, when Grand, when GTA Five first came out back on well, back on my 360, then played it to death and that was one of the games you'll often hear me say this in streams or in, in my video, I used to play with my brother me and my brother used to play videos, video games together till the cows come home um, especially when we were single and I had my own little bachelor plaid, bachelor pad sorry, and uh, we had massive TV set up side by side and uh, we'd always play like co-op games or team games but because we had our screen set up side by side we could see so much more of the map and everything that was going on to be an advantage, and uh, yeah, but we used to if it, we used to play everything. And we, like I said we played a hell of a lot of uh, GTA, and then when it moved over to the new gen console, I brought uh, another copy, and he did, and, and then it just sort of went to the wayside. But I have it on uh, PC as well, but I've, I've barely put it on. But again, I don't really play uh, the solo. I don't. The way that the, the the multiplayer worked the last time I was on it, it just just sort of quite toxic and trash. I don't want to play a game where I just die every 10 seconds for absolutely no reason than because someone's an a-hole. That's that's not my idea of fun. Um, have you always live streamed? It's something I've been thinking about. Have, uh, thinking about having to play with. I haven't always live streamed. I think before we moved, I tried to do them. Um, I think I maybe did eight or nine, and then I've only just started again quite recently. It's it's a, I, I, the reason I didn't do them for so long is when we when we've moved here, our internet is pretty piss poor, and up our upload speeds. Considering we both make content, our upload speed is so slow and it can take forever, and. Like, we run everything off of Wi-Fi. We don't have like a TV aerial. Our TV is smart TV, so if someone's watching TV, they're watching it through the internet. Our phones are all connected to the internet. You know, we've both got our 
PCs and everything, so it's, there's a lot of strain. So I, I, I didn't, through fear of having poor uh, bandwidth and a poor signal. Uh, I did a test stream with uh, F1 sort of late night, one night, and it held really nicely. Uh, so I decided I'd give uh, Farm Sim a try when my partner was at work, my son was in bed, because that's when I tend to do most of my content. But once the boys got to bed or settling down for the night and the missus either at work or in bed, then that's when I do my thing, because then there's no strain on it. But it's been holding up really well. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm planning on doing more. I want to do, in the new year, I want to try and get some uh, American Truck Simulator live streams as well. Keep the Euro Truck as a series thing and then live stream American Truck. So there'll be more simulation content as well to go alongside with the Variety Channel. Um, I don't like other games, only Farm and Simulator. <laughs> that's fair enough. That's fair enough, David. If that's all you like, that's all you play. But I, I like so many games uh, do you play snow runner I do but it can get rather annoying at times hard graph sometimes when one of my first series was snow runner absolutely love snow runner I've said many times I want to bring snow runner back but the views at the time really dropped off and like I say it's, it's, it could be hard graphed and uh, f for the effort and the time you put in to try and make an episode of snow runner because there's a lot of drive and so you for me, I felt there was a lot that needed editing out, so then you needed to do a lot more to get a decent length episode, showing what you're doing. And yeah, that just sort of went to the way. So, like I say, the, the views dropped off. And because I was so focused on trying to grow as quick as I can, got into that thing of, well, I've got to make the videos that are going to get me the views, that are going to get me the subs. But I would like to bring Snow Runner back. And if it won't fit in over here, I could put it on the Variety channel. I'd have to start afresh as well because I forgot to uh, back up the save when my uh, PC died a few months back. So I have thought maybe I could do it from the beginning but do it on hard mode. Because I quite like hard mode. But yeah, absolutely love SnowRunner. Plum Bob brought me uh, SnowRunner for my birthday <laughs> a few years back now. Um, can't wait for this map. Getting bored of Calmston now. Uh, this is Bally Spring, Mike Smith. Uh, if you're on PC, you can get it. If you're on console, I don't know how long you'll have to wait for Bally Spring because there's a lot of stuff on here that's not console compatible. But it is a gorgeous map. Oh cool, I'll watch if you do if you do hard mode, eek, yeah. Well on on the like in Michigan, I think I'll be alright, because I know that map like the back of my hand. If once I get back on it I'd, I'd remember it and where things are and what have you and, how, and and ways to save money, but it's then I didn't get too f oh, well, I suppose I got halfway through the Russian map. Like I say, I think we finally reached the snow and snow runners started to die. But yeah, I, I I have that on PC and on console. Because again, this is a game I really enjoy playing, and I want to be able to play it in both places. Because my content for it started off on console, and then I was having issues with the graphics card, not the graphics card, with the capture card I was using at the time, and it kept cutting out on me. <laughs> if anyone was there at the time and <laughs> remembers back then, and uh, that that just became such a ball ache. Um, so I brought the game again on uh, PC and in the background completely started over but did everything exactly the same as I'd done it before so everything was in exactly the same position and done in the same order um, so then when I transitioned from the console save to the PC save no one even noticed other than the graphic pressure, uh, improvements Uh, are you into FIFA? Not really, no. I haven't. I love football. I really do not get into FIFA. I think the last time I enjoyed FIFA was... Hmm, probably... <laughs> 
FIFA 98. <laughs> so, um, I, I brought, uh, I say I brought, I think 05 was, 05 or 06, I can't remember, was included in um, my uh, Xbox One bundle when I brought my Xbox. So I had that. Um, was it was it, was FIFA World Cup in South Africa? Was that FIFA World Cup '98? Yeah, I think that was probably the last time I really enjoyed FIFA. I find it's one of them games where the people who are really good at if you want to play online, this is the people who are really who enjoy playing it. Generally, are really good at it, and it's one of them games where that's pretty much all they play. So, for someone who just likes to jump in and have a little game every now and then, you're never going to win. And much like with um. GTA, I don't find no fun in jumping into something online and just being battered all the time. There's no fun in that for me, uh, so I don't. And I've, I find that with the AI, I know there's slides and stuff you can adjust, but with the AI, it's either like you're on what semi pro and it's too easy, you win in 7 or 8 nil, or you put it on pro and I lose 3 nil every time. Whereas I think the AI balance used to be better. You used to have a lot of like 2 1, 3 1 against AI. Um, I sub to other channel. I can't wait to see what, you, what shows up there. I'm going to go AFK. I'm not sure how long you'll be so. Uh, so later, Gator, if I miss your ending. Okay. Well, you have a, have a great evening, Indy. Thank you for dropping by. I do appreciate you. I know I do know you're there in the background all the time. So I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. And yeah, if I don't see you before, you have yourself a lovely New Year's Eve and a great 2023. And I can't wait to see what's coming from you as well then if we've got another channel coming. All good stuff. If you're into a little bit more indie game and uh, something a little bit lighter than maybe what I put out, uh, go check out Indie Journey. She's got a lovely channel, quite in depth on on some of the games that are out and about. And uh, like she says, she's looking to start another channel, doing something different, because she got herself buried in Slime Rancher, and a lot of people only then came for Slime Rancher in the same way that a lot of people only come here for Farm. But yeah, go show her some love. She shows me a lot of love, and she's been a supporter of my channel. I'd say for a year, maybe over a year a long time it feels like a long time so yeah, go check out Indy show us some support she even has a link on my homepage on my, on my channel homepage there's a link to her I am a genuine fan <laughs> Because I do like the variety of games. This is nearly another meadow destroyed. So we're not getting crazy amounts of work done in a single day. We may sleep at the end of this. We'll uh, return this to the store. Perhaps we'll be a bit cheeky and take the track to home, sleep through the night, get an early night, and then uh, September 2, we can uh, plant our wheat. I think that's, uh, that's going to be the plan. We'll oh, just have a little drink. Get a bit dry. <laughs> <coughs> I'll check her out as well. I'm, oh, this is uh, Simulation Station. I'll check her out as well. I'm also going to be stepping away from the PC for a while. I'm happy to have caught stream finally. Catch you later and thanks for the entertainment. You are welcome, Simulation Station. And again, anyone who's here who hasn't seen or heard of Simulation Station, go and check him out. His content is very fresh. It's different from literally everyone else I watch do Farm Sim. I really enjoy it. I think you guys would too. 
and those with channels I think he can offer a little bit of inspiration on how to do things a bit different so uh, yeah go check him out great guy as well oh, cool and remember guys if you haven't already give the video a big fat thumbs up if you are enjoying the content don't hesitate to subscribe we're trying to do this on the regular trying to have a fun time joining make it more of a community over here on Mr. Farquhar also there'll be links in the description somewhere down there uh, for the discord feel free to come join us in discord it's a place for viewers and creators alike we've got a few uh, FS modders in there We've got some ETS guys in there, got some Twitch streamers in there. Um, all sorts, all sorts going on. And I'm trying to bring in some variety guys to my Discord as well. People that who, who I'm active in there, so uh, trying to bring them through so we can get a little bit of a variety of content in the Discord. For those that may be interested in it. Uh, the area where I was building my yard... I turned it into a field. I put field grass in, and it's made hay. But I need to help. Oh, I need help for cows. So basically, it's worked out. It's all good there, mate. All good. The cows need the hay. Uh, good evening, Pleasant View Farms. Hello, hello, man. Hello, hello. I was talking about you right at the start. I was saying about <laughs> your epic bailing the other night. How many bales did you get in the end? You, you must have been approaching near 200 by the time I had to leave. That was quite a feat you guys were at. Uh, I think... Uh, da, 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 I think we ended up over 550 Blum Wars. We ended up uh, doing the next field as well. <laughs> you guys are crazy. That was some bait. I love a bit of bailing, but that was a lot of bailing. Oh, well done. 550 bales. And the server coped all right with that? That's pretty impressive. Although you did have your chap uh, going around in the Mack truck collecting them all up, so that was uh, probably, probably a bit of a lifesaver, that one. And again, people, someone else that's putting out some, some quality content. Uh, Pleasant View Farms, I believe that's also the name of their real life farm. So, a real life farmer playing farm sim. Um, popped into a couple of uh, live streams now, so that's uh, really good. Really enjoyed it. It was proper chilled, there was, there was uh, something nice. All about sharing around here. Uh, three of us had it, ended up making 170 grand a person. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad for a night's work. Or two night's work, as that might have been. <laughs> I'm not trying to do my own plug. I'm also a modder, some might as well say. Yeah! No, mate, sell yourself. Tell us what you've been working on and what you do. I should imagine uh, more to the American side of equipment. But I'm hoping in in the near future, sometime in the future, to uh, get another American series up and running on this channel. Uh, have got a bit of a, a verbal deal with. Lancy boy. So hopefully uh, we can do some things together. With his uh, America Falls map. 
when that comes and in, in, in the uh, the testing phase and process. Been working on an older Gleaner combine. I've reached a lot of Aulus Chalmers tractors. There you have it. I've probably probably got one or two installed. So we'll take this. We got a beacon on yet? Yeah. We'll take this back to the stall, and uh, we'll we'll catch it, catch some kip. Then we'll head back to the farm, and like I say, we'll uh, September two. We'll get some uh, some wheat in the ground. I think. I think we've got a parson spot here. Hit the post. Oh, come on, mate. I gave you enough room. Get you gone. Say, so I can't pull out until he's gone because I can't reverse the disc carry back. Oh, no, his mate's here now. <laughs> his little country roads. Come on, mate. You can get by. Playing games with me? I'm going to have to mount this post. So I'm stuck in the fence now. Oh, I'm mad. Right, you've got loads of room. You give me muscles out. One. Two gone. Right. <laughs> That's what super strength is for. Oh, I've got myself stuck on the fence now, trying to get away from him. Here we are. Sorry about that. Uh, H1, but I've got a group of calves to attend to in real life. Need to find you on Discord if you have Yeah, there uh, should be a link to the Discord in uh, the description here, my friend. If not, I'll come and find you and I'll... Uh, Try and drop it on you. What is going on with this traffic? <laughs> Go on. No, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you uh, coming by. Right, I'm gone. Screw them. Uh, should I start building my yard? Probably. If you've got if you've got animals on the go, mate, you want something going on, don't you? Yeah, appreciate you stopping by, Pleasant. I say, guys, uh, go check him out. Got some good live stream content on there. What have I caught on this time? Get them collision boxes, that's for certain. Have to drive in the middle of the road. Didn't have that on the way down though. Must be me. Driving a little too close to the hedge. Maybe I should start with some cows in a shed. Sounds like a great start to a farm, mate. Cows in a shed and a greenhouse. Because you can't go wrong with a greenhouse. And chickens, apparently. Early, early, early doors, chickens. Are you going to cut across as well? You are. Come on, then. I'll be good. I'll be kind. Try and remember the way home yet as well. It's been a while. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy! You have to wait your turn. All of you have to wait your turn. Good lord! Crazy Irish drivers. It's 
disastrous. So I th think the box is there. If I can't find the trigger, I'll uh, just use the mobile workshop to return it. I think the tree is actually inside here, isn't it? Nope. There it is. Right. On repair with paint. Turn. Yes. Okay. Turn me beacons off now. Thought they made any difference. No one respected me on the road then. Absolutely no one. Now we've got a traffic jam. It's been an accident, so we've gone home the other way. Radio's been interrupted. There has been an accident on the B1137. Westbound. I do like these pedestrians crossing the road, but they do slow the traffic down somewhat, don't they? Toot toot. Mother trucker. Right, so I think we <laughs> I think we live over there somewhere. We've got chickens. If you weren't here for the first stream. We've got chickens and ducks. Over there. Nope, not there. Over down. I think that's my house. I think that's my house. Sounds like I'm coming up drunk. I think that's my house, driver. In the taxi. I'm sure uh, the missus won't mind me parking the tractor in the drive. There we are. Beautiful. It's... Uh, Shoot some hoop, in off. Oh. Just dropped it. Skills. Oh, nearly. Right. I'll show you me uh, chickens and ducks. Got some eggs. <laughs> there we are. Got a little chick. Got ourselves a duck. See a cockerel. A couple more ducks over there. I think they're alright for feed. It's got a really large capacity. I think this is ready for uh, Maze Plus. I was going to say, next time around we may have Maze Plus activated. Best to do that before we get animals. We'll sleep till 7. We're not running fast, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll have plenty of time to do what I want to do this month. I just think it's better to run a little bit slower. Um, when I, I find it is, for me anyway, to make it a sort of casual stream rather than worrying about the time it gives me time to uh, check the chat and stop and chat with people and do which is what I want to do with my streams anyway not to worry about running uber realistic I like to try and be as realistic as I can I know I sometimes use super strength when I shouldn't but it's for a convenience thing not everything in farm sim runs as perfect as it should including me But that's why I like to do the in cap. I just it's, adds to the realism for me playing it. And I say it all the time. It's just I always feel like this is arcade mode. This is simulator mode. And that probably is just me. And that's allowed. Hey, up! Oh, Dave's out. Dave's out. Morning, fella. He's already out spreading muck. He's getting on it. If FS landscaping isn't lurking anymore, we'll uh, we'll not worry about using the uh, ridge markers. Well, I might actually, because I got better at it. I might rub the ridge markers again. I'll just forget about the tram lines. That's the trouble. Although it's only a little field, I'm not too worried about tram lines in these little fields. It's when you get a big field, you really want to make sure you get your tram line down the middle, or splitting it into three. 
That's what I find personally. I don't know what happened to my chat, but I'll have to uh, have a little look at that. Have a little look at it for tomorrow's stream. I'm going to stream tomorrow, hopefully. If I don't get to do the stream tomorrow, the, whatever stream is next will be Balam Road. But hopefully, uh, I'll be able to do it tomorrow evening. The missus has got a long day, so she'll probably come home tired. And uh, I want to try and get out for a little bit with the boy, tire him out, so hopefully he'll go to sleep early. This is probably got bed early, so. Gives me stream time. Uh, Davy says, Oh dear, my game crashed on Mini Brun save. That happens. You know what? That'll be a mod conflict. What were you doing? What were you trying to place? trying to force into the game. Now before I go driving off, where did I put my seed? Oh, he's right in front of me. That's okay. And those meadows that I've turned into hay, or that I've turned to turn into hay, we need to roll them up. Probably need to roll them up today as well. And then look to get the uh, the grass ones wrapped. So I want wheat or barley. It doesn't matter. Matt, I don't know why I said it like that. Slow thought process and it came out of my mouth. It's going to rain, which is annoying. Right, let's just move that. Now, I don't think I'll be using it, so I'm just going to shrink it down. So I'm not going to use that either. I'll put that there. Then we'll get rid of it. Uh, it's the self-made cow shed. Oh, there should be no problem with that. I'll use that. It's was built into this, isn't it? That's what that is. Self-made cow shed. That is exactly it, but green. Not sure whether I'm supposed to say that aloud. I'm not sure if that's in the in the required mods list, but it's built into the map because it's with it. But yeah, this is the if, if it isn't the, it's very much like the uh, self-made cow shed. <laughs> yeah, it's blue. Yeah, it is that, but blue. <laughs> I've I've got it on a different save. This uh, on my new series that's coming out on the second check it out, it's very different very different from anything I've done before and I'm going to say on this stream I'm not sure if I said it on another stream I thought when I was creating my new content that starts on the second I thought I had a brand new original idea and then after I, I started working on it when I started doing the own the map challenge because those were going to be really long episodes so I thought I'm going to try and counter that and I want to try and do a series that's really short, like really compact. Uh, so I did, so I set about doing that and I've been doing it for, you know, a couple of months on and off, putting bits together because I want the whole thing to be ready to go out. And then after I'd uploaded about 10 episodes, because of the tags I was using, YouTube started recommending me content with similar tags or with the same tags. And I found out that someone else has a very similar, not the same, but a very similar series. And uh, I just like to put that out there. I didn't copy this person. I've never watched them until I saw this. And I've, I've watched a few of their videos now. But yeah, when you see it, I just want to say that I, I didn't copy anyone. I didn't know this other person existed. But they've got something very similar and probably a little bit better. I ain't going to lie. Theirs is a bit better. They've put more thought into it. I was just trying to teach myself to uh, edit better and condense um, oh my god which one are we oh my god and what we oh my god and Davies oh my god oh my god
I'd, I'd probably put about I see it must be easily 10 episodes up on my schedule before I uh, found this other channel you were copying the same person with the same idea yeah I wish if I was mine would have turned out better <laughs> I wouldn't have gone, oh, perhaps I should take mine down now. Not because people might think I'm copying, but because it's not as good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just very aware that a lot of my content runs 30, 40, sometimes more minutes on, on, a, on an episode. And with um, doing the on the map challenge and running two days at the same speed as I run a, s a single day on Maple, I was just like, oh, these are going to get so long. And to try and help help me uh, get used to condensing stuff down, I thought I'll make a condensed series, and I'll put it out there. I thought that's got to be different, I'm trying to be different, I'm trying to be new. Turned out I wasn't. But also, let's plays aren't new; they're not original. So I don't know what the worry is. <laughs> but yeah, just like I say, I didn't copy anyone. I said to my missus, I was so disappointed, I genuinely thought I had something. I had something that no one else had got. But not to be the case. I think I might even need to put my uh, ridge markers on. Just because I can't really see where I'm going because of the, uh, the choppy chop chop stuff. I mean, people who like to throw derogatory terms will often call a, a new or a struggling or a not successful channel the poor man's version of. But then even that's not bad. I take credit. If someone said, oh, mate, you're just the poor man's Sealy P or just the poor man's Dagoin, poor man's VF, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you want to if you want to put their names next to mine, I'll, I'll take that. Now, what button was it for the thing? That was that button. Awesome. Right. So it should be down on that side. That just means I can't I have to do my headland at the end in future. But I should be able to get this straight. Not straight, but I should be able to uh, see where I've been. It's not always easy to, easy to see when you've got the, uh, the, the chopped texture, I find. But yeah, hopefully uh, people in enjoy that. And if they do, there is an option for me to uh, continue it as well. Just not at the same rate as it's going to go out. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I love watching some old, uh, not old, I like watching new stuff as well, but uh, Virtual Farmer, because I'm just always so busy, I never really get to watch stuff as people put it out. I like your series anyway. No, no, I possibly would like you, Karen. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, you haven't seen it yet, you haven't seen the new one yet, you might think it's utter, utter dog poo. I've really enjoyed making it. It's been, like I say, it's been something different and a, and a bit of a, a little bit of a learning process, not in the farming sense, sense, but in the uh, in the editing sense and just managing things a bit differently, and doing different stuff. For anyone that's watching now that watches my other content, would you like it if I used the uh, ridge markers in my in my series? Because I can do that. I've just always done it by eye, so it's, it's never really bothered me much. But if people would like to see ridge markers, I could bring them in.
It's only 200 days until next Christmas. Well, I don't think it is. Not in a, not in a 365 day year. So I don't know where you got that fact from. In 200 days, it'll be about October. Without actually trying to do the math, I'm guessing. That one go down instantly? It did, so I have to remember that that's down while we're up. just going to say will I be going live again on Ballon Road? I'm hoping to get time to do that tomorrow evening Ryan that was always the plan whichever one lost today's poll would be the one that I went live with tomorrow initially um, I had told FS Landscape that I was going to go live with Ballon Road today but I thought you know what I'm going to try and make it more of a community thing and people can choose and uh, like I said a little bit earlier I might do that more regular as well so instead of having like a set map that we live stream on we could have two or three that are going and uh, every now and then if uh, I've not got one I particularly want to be doing or one I want to get on with I'll, I'll put it to a, a community post vote and people can choose where we go Because I don't live stream to like a, a set schedule or anything, so I'm, I'm not too worried about when they go out or what they do. So whenever it, it's generally whenever I've I've got the time and the house is sort of at a point where we can do it without worrying. But yeah, Ballon, Ballon Road will be uh, will be back. I live stream it, uh, Balam. This is I live stream Balam um, because I was I, I agreed I, I, I'd help with uh, testing and doing, and uh, FS said, you know, do what you like with it, um, make content, just don't obviously give the map out, and uh, I, I would never do that anyway, but I didn't want to do a uh, full series like a uh, let's play series on it while it was still being made because we const it's constantly getting reset anyway it's constantly I just put an, a new uh, updated version on my PC today so it's, it's not like it's ever ever not getting updated for me so constantly having to redo that to try and do episodes with um, would be pretty tough didn't put it down did I know and also FSL has his own YouTube channel, and I think that should, since he's making the map, he should be the one that has the first Let's Play on it, and doing it his way with his with his map. Whereas the live streams is just more of a live, it's just live test really, test play. And then I can, I'll happily keep going with the live streams with it if people want to keep watching me live stream it. What do you mean? I, I didn't go into it with any with any intention of um, but I could have done I guess I could have been the person that was banging out um, Ballon Road, Tom Pemberton map whatever you want to call it and I could have been banging that out for months and I, no doubt you know, I would have had a substantial channel growth more than what I've got, I've got good growth already f just from that a few streams but I didn't I don't want to be the channel that's just known for Ballon Road I don't want to be seen as the guy that's just riding the coattails of someone else's map 
because no one else can get it, so they've got to come here. That's why I don't stream it all the time. There's sort of a certain, for me anyway, a certain level of self-respect and dignity when uh, testing other people's stuff. And FSL isn't the only person that sends me stuff to test and to do. So you've got to show everyone that same respect. Um, it's a mess uh, where I'm going to put my new field. Well, there should already be fields there, shouldn't there, mate? Field mini brun. Uh, good lad using the ridge marker. I was always taught to, to go by eye, but on FS22 I use GPS lots. I, I never use GPS. I, th I when I first, I, I'm being naughty and I'm not using um, tram lines. But I find if I'm using ridge markers and tram lines, I just get myself too confused. FS cha FSL challenged me to use the tram line, uh, the ridge markers last time. Um, he was here earlier, but he's gone now. But I'm uh, using them this time as well. It's just a little extra into it. So it's something else you have to remember. I used them a little bit in, I think it was 19, I'm not sure, I think someone had them in 17 as well, maybe prior to that, they were there. But yeah, if, sometimes if you're trying to make content, it, it can seem silly, but that extra button press uh, adds time to, say, a time lapse or a bit where you're like this, like talking, this is a lot slower than if I was to go by eye, and um, I'll happily go by eye is what I do in a lot of my videos, but I was, I was wondering if, if people want to see me use ridge markers more and not necessarily worry about the tram lines because I find that with the tram lines because of using course play and if you're setting them up to do things they, they lower and raise and lower and raise to go around the field your tram lines aren't always where you want them or mine aren't anyway, because I'm not that good with course play Uh, the area where I was going to put my yard is overgrown, so I'm planning to change it to a field instead. Well, there you go. Unless you sort of Davies. Plus it's an, another button that I have to remember. <laughs> and if you watch my other content, you know I forget things a lot and very quickly. You probably shouldn't be doing this in the rain, but I've already slept through a day early. My hay's, <laughs> my hay's getting wet. We can't, we can't really go and uh, windrow our, our hay. I guess we could have... Can't really uh, wrap our grass bales in the rain either. We've got to let them dry out again. So we are going to continue with the sowing of our wheat field. But another thing that I've said, I say it nearly every stream, one of the things that tickles me is that if I stream, I'm pretty much in cab exclusively because that's how I prefer to play the game for me. Yet when I record episodes, or when I first started with FS22 and recording episodes, I wanted to do mainly in cab, because that's how I like to play. And a few of the people that were watching then, who aren't, you know, I guess they aren't even there now, um, used to always complain because they wanted to see out of cab, they said in cab was boring. But at no point in any of my streams has uh, anyone uh, complained about the in cab. It's like people accept in cab for streaming, but I want the outer cab for uh, for let's play videos. I'd always always like the feedback. Always like to know what people like to see or want to see. I'm not necessarily going to pander and you know for everyone, but if enough people like something then we can try it. If it doesn't suit me, then I don't. At the end of the day, I've got to be happy and comfortable doing it. I'm the one that's going to spend hours <laughs> actually doing it. 
That's the other one down. Um, I need good maps for all platforms. <laughs> uh, I enjoy in cab, but more a bit more realistic. Yeah, I think it is. That's what I say. Like, this is arcade mode. This isn't simulator mode, is it? This isn't simulated farming. This is simulated farming. Despite, you know, in the rain. I think if I do start streaming a lot more, I think I said last time as well, uh, I might sort out a little bit of background music. We'll see. I've just been sorting out Spotify again. I got rid of my Spotify because I wasn't really listening to it anymore. Not as much as I used to anyway. But if, uh, if we're streaming, it might be nice to have a little bit. So just so uh, I don't feel, <laughs> feel bad about not talking for a few minutes. We just have a let the background music chill. So I say, when, when you're recording, you get to do that. You get to stop talking, and you know you're going to do a time lapse, or you know you're going to do a jump cut. You give your voice a break. Whereas if you're going two, three hours, how long are we going for? A while here, no doubt. Um, yeah, it's it's strangely quite tiring at times because it's not something I do. I'm not an overly talkative person. Dave, you like driving in cab? Yeah, because you do your proper player, that's why. <laughs> I mean, everyone play their own way, that's what I always say. Everyone's free to play their own way, it's your game. While you're paying for it, you do what you like with it. I've always said, until the day that someone's buying me my video games, they don't get to tell me what to do in them. Just suggest. <laughs> it's down. Yeah, that's the trouble, isn't it? And that's copyright free. Like in, in my videos, I just use whatever's free. And. Um, I know I use a lot of, um, is it Nefex, Nefex, but I don't mind listening to that. In fact, I listen to him on YouTube and on Spotify at times anyway, not just because he's free. But I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but the other selection of YouTube music is pretty poor. And uh, some of the videos that I uploaded with old YouTube music on, and that's YouTube's own music. Uh, later on, got flagged for copyright, like a year later. So that person took their music, and it's now not owned by YouTube, which is weird. And then when I was using some songs that I'd used for a long time, and starting to upload them, although the old songs weren't getting hit by copyright, they were. Or I'd upload the YouTube music in my video. And after YouTube had finished processing it, the music was gone. Which made absolutely no sense, because there'd be no notification of copyright or anything like that. The music was just taken out. And I was checking it after um, after I'd finished rendering and processing, the music was there. I'd upload it, and the music was there. The video would release, and the music was gone. And I think it happened like three or four occasions, so I just wiped all that music from my hard drive so I didn't accidentally use it again and just went with um, Nefex, but I say because he's putting out free content or copyright free music uh, for creators and I sometimes use my friend 8-Bit Driver Guy's uh, music which again isn't everyone's cup of tea not all of his music is uh, my cup of tea but there's a few tracks on there that I like and he even has a track that's dedicated to me so uh, yeah, I use that sometimes. It's called the big one. And in its description, it's dedicated to Mr. Farquhar. <laughs> uh, I've brought John Dare's 7930. 
from the mod hub, obviously. Obviously from the mod hub. If you suddenly just went out and brought a tractor just like that, I think you're a little bit mad, IRL. Just for, just randomly brought a tractor on New Year's Eve, as one does. Oh, have, have I put it down? Let's feel like we're getting away a bit quick. Yep. Yeah. Felt like I had a bit of poke in me then. A little bit of poke. And uh, that is something I see uh, that Twitch have sort of introduced now. They've got a thing where there is a selection of actual licensed music. They've got it on a library. And anyone can stream it. You have to uh, um, insert like a wid widget or an app into your stream thing and, and do. But you can play any music from it you like. Like I say, it's licensed. There's thousands and thousands of tracks on it. And because it's done through their, their app, when they process the VOD version, so if you save it so your views, your videos can be viewed later, the video on demand, um, it actually removes that music for you. So you don't even have to worry about it, it's gone. And people just get to hear it as, as is. Which is pretty cool. And then as well, if, you, if you're someone that likes to stream on Twitch and then edit for YouTube, you can... Uh, you can do that safely knowing that your music isn't going to get flagged up because it's not there. That's definitely something with YouTube's library of music, that's something that they should look into. I often often see on, on Twitter and things like that that people are coming over from Twitch to YouTube. But I still think YouTube has a long way to go to be a better streaming platform for live content, especially gaming. Because I find unless unless you are subscribed to someone and you get their notification, you don't always know that someone's going live anyway. Or I don't. I don't always get a, a notification for the people I follow when they go live. And they're not always, excuse me, on my home screen. There's not a section on your home screen just showing you people that are live. Yeah, I, I hardly ever watch shorts, and there's loads of shorts videos on my home screen. Your 7930 is gorgeous to drive. Davies is happy. I tell you what, my little Volvo went bad either, mate. Stir me good. Fireworks are starting a bit early outside. Do apologise if you hear it or if it gets picked up. It may or may not. Still one of them, them, them strange things with uh, OBS. You have it set to pick up certain things and not pick up others. And uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I remember a while back, I was recording something. Uh, my missus didn't know. And she come, <laughs> come waltzing in with the Hoover on, and uh, oh, I was so annoyed. Because I thought that's that's balls that up, that's messed that up. I, when I went in to edit it, OBS hadn't even picked the Hoover up. <laughs> like that's a that's a noise, that's such a noise, and they didn't get caught up in the recording. I've been summoned by the boss. Happy New New Year to you, and I look forward to your channel growing in 2023. I'll be here with you. Ta ta for now. Midi Dash, thank you very much. Thank you for the support. Uh, we'll check Midi Dash out. Show some love. Spread the love. We're a big community over here. Happy New Year to you, Midi Dash, and uh, you have yourself some fun. Thanks for joining us. I do appreciate it. Oh, my sex bot friend is back. We got two of them, I think. Ooh, they are competing. They are competing for your attention. Sexy time, sexy time.
might just put sex as a banned word. Ooh, can't talk about sex on Mr. Farquhar's channel. Of course she can. Right. Right, 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 we nearly finished this. What's the time? It's only half past eight. Still on times three, aren't we? I'm trying to think what other things. I want to go around the edge anyway and tidy it up. Back a bit further. That should do me. Yeah, we've still got a few, a few little stripes there from where we haven't gone quite to the end. I think normally you wouldn't works from so far back you'd be further in your field wouldn't you and then uh, do like a double triple headland and tidy that up if you was a real farmer which I am not oh no miss me button there we go and that should already be down I'd happily put on a bit of anything in the background, music-wise, going back to that. Just something. I mean, with the... The music I put on when I do my time-lapse, as you'll see, it, it pops up on the top of my screens. Um, but I, ju I just use the uh, in-game... Not the in-game music, but the, uh, the internet radio stations, the simulation ones. And whichever one's playing a song that I can remotely put up with is where I'll stay. Because normally I try and do it so um, a time lapse is a minute long, so it's normally 10 11 minutes of me doing that, and then I'll, I'll cut whatever's left on it. So sometimes that could be, you know. 10, 15, 20 minutes or more of uh, me not talking <laughs> not having no one to talk to or do anything so you need a little bit of music if not that can feel like a long 20 minutes Beautiful landscape. Looking out across there, that is really nice. I think that's the only thing where, you know, third person out of cab sort of is better. You do get the views, which I guess is what makes the nice videos and the nice time lapses, is seeing all the other stuff. But if you're playing, more often than not, you're focused on the task at hand keeping yourself straight and doing stuff. Make sure you're not running that seed, run that fuel. Not missing wherever it is you're supposed to be going. One would assume anyway. That's that's almost this field done. So I'm just going to whip round again without the uh, ridge markers because that's gone straight through where I've already sown and it works as ploughing, doesn't it? At least they don't bring up stones. I'm sure in 19 you use ridge markers and uh, you brought up the stones. So I'm just going to put it down and we'll do a cheeky little lap. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll cover up some of them bits. Get a few extra ounces of flour. Forgot to put your indicators on. Well, that's alright. I'd try and remember. That's one of them things. I will remember to use a more in-cab than if I'm out of cab. So there's, an, there's another win for the in-cab. 
I try and use them. I try and use the indicators, beacons. Like I said, I try and I try and do as realistic as I can within my own knowledge and skill set. And like I say, a lot of the things I do I know aren't realistic. I, I do use super strength. I don't like having to chop down trees with harvesters and grabs and stuff like that. I just think it takes me way too long and it's not, not going to be good to watch, just me getting frustrated. If I have a bale that falls off and annoys me, I'll I'll pick that up with super strength rather than get the, get the loader or the telehander back on it. Especially if it's off a stack. So I'll just end up, when I try and just do one tiny little bit, I end up messing the whole stack up. I ain't gonna lie, I do like to see that a, a tractor has one. I don't think we do on this one unless it's hid underneath. Yeah, they're there. Not always well lit up. But yeah, it is a little bit disappointing if you're in one and you like to use indicators and your tractor that you've uh, picked doesn't have one. But I stick with uh, tractors that have, have a lot more issues with them. Than, in, than no indicate light on the inside. It's not a deal breaker for me, is what I'm saying. It's not a deal breaker. It's just a little bit disheartening. <laughs> but again, I can't make a tractor. I probably couldn't even make a flashing light. So I don't knock tractors when they don't have them. I, 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 mean, I, I had that Renault. Um, was it the Eris or the Atlas? had that Renault on Oop Baylor on for quite some time and it had a gap oh. it had a gap looking right through the uh, the front cover and you could see there was no engine block in there you could look right through the tractor its dashboard was on upside down <laughs> so the numbers when they did come up were the wrong way round which took me a little while to notice because you know some numbers look the same and, and stuff like that, but uh, it, we, it had lights, but the lights didn't emanate from an actual... Oh, I don't want it to uh, open up. It had lights, but the lights don't actually emanate from anywhere. So, you know, dodgy machinery isn't the deal breaker it probably should be. So I think next up... Oh, we left the light on on the John Deere. That's been on all night. We need to do some fertilising, so we'll uh, we'll do that with the John Deere, I think. Take the John Deere out and spread some fur over the uh, over the wheat. Probably could roll it today as well. We have a we brought a roller, didn't we? Uh, da -da 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 -da. A Citroen turned over my yeah they have man dangerous dangerous i just seen fs landscape and put out another video two hours ago on Ballon road episode three yeah he, he jumped in at the start of the stream <laughs> he apologized to me for putting out a video at the same time as i went live uh, he didn't mean to set it then and he didn't know i was going to go live when i did so there was no apology needed and everyone is free to put their content out whenever they want you clash with someone no matter what time of day you go for i mean uh, I probably don't do myself any favours. I put my videos out roughly around the same time as the big channels put theirs out. But I'm a little bit of an egotistical maniac and I want to compete with the big boys. That's what I do. If you don't try and compete with a CLP or a Dagoin or a VF, you'll always be a poor man's version. Never, your, never yourself. <laughs> I think if that's if that's like prime time for people to watch, so I to try and post my farming videos for four o'clock. Uh, my general thinking of that is the adults that watch, you know, if they're working within the next hour or two, they'll be coming home, and the younger viewers that have been to school will uh, be home from school. 
that's the only reason I've sort of always gone for that time. I know it doesn't matter because it's a a global platform. Someone somewhere is always watching something, and that is so true. Sometimes I get more views on a video at like 3 a.m. or 11 p.m. than I do at you know 4 and 5 p.m. when they've gone out, and it's just because it's. It's, it's been pushed and publicised or pushed and uh, promoted uh, in that market time zone. There's very little control you have over this YouTube market, I've noticed. But yeah, I'm going to catch episode 3 um, once I've finished. Which I can't imagine will be too far away. We must be coming up for about 3 hours, I think. If not very close. I have my uh, dashboard behind the game at the minute, so I won't look. Because it puts the game into silence for some reason. Actually, I will look. I want to know how long we've been going for. Let's have a little quick butchers. So I could use my thing, look, I could do that. Ta da Um Stream settings. I'm sure it tells me somewhere and I'm just not looking. Oh, it's at the top there, bloody walls. Uh two hours fifty nine, so that's not too bad at all actually. Yeah, so that's all right. I spent way too long making that flashcard. It's a good job I used it. Uh, <laughs> Davies, how many kids do you have and what are their names, if you don't mind me asking? I've got three and another one on the way, and you can't have their names. <laughs> they, 18, 12, 2 and unborn are their ages. <laughs> what are their names? Excellent. That's a little bit stalkery, that, mate. We don't ask people their children's names on the internet. That's weird. <laughs> oh, dear. That tickles me, mate. That tickles me. That proper cracked me up. But thank you for taking the interest. Yeah, I've got, I've got three. I think. Right. Two daughters and a son. I want this rain to bugger off. I think I was good last time out, weren't I? And I sat in this shed and waited it out. Not so good today. I don't even know why you'd need to know their names. That's just... Yeah. Strange. So you have three kids. One... And one more. Yeah, I have three children with one more on the way. Right, so perhaps. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? I think. I think that might be it for today. So it's, it's three hours. Three hours is a long stream for me. I think three hours is a long stream for anyone. There's people that do, uh, you know. 24 hour streams, 12 hour streams, they're mad. I know they're normally for charity, so it's a good cause, but shh. how do you even do that? I'm amazed I don't have to leave for a pee every 20 minutes. This is not fitting here. Never mind. Right. Just gonna park it in under here then. 
It's out of the way. So yeah, I'm not going to uh, drive home because we've got more work to do when we do come back. But that, my friends, is going to be it for today's stream. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, don't forget to give the video a big old thumbs up. I see many of you already done a runner, which is fine. Why would you want to hear me babble at the end? But uh, thank you. Thank you ever so much to everyone that has dropped in today. Uh, just doing a little bit of something, a little bit of entertainment on New Year's Eve. For everyone that has watched the video, liked a video, commented on a video, for everyone that has subscribed this year, thank you ever so much. You are wonderful. You are making this so much fun. So much, I'm having a baller. It's absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, I wish you all a happy new year. And hopefully, I'll get to see a few of you tomorrow night for a Ballam Road stream. So uh, happy new year, everyone. Bye-bye.